No, I'm not doing it. No, what's that? So you won't see it coming. Please. <laughs> what's up guys welcome back Ooh. so shout out to my sister and my dad for gifting me this hat i think it's really nice but <laughs> following up last week's conversation about discipline in the beginning of the month i started talking about how i've been using discipline to come back from my injury as well as coming back from the injury into the sport now and evolving in mma of course it's hard but i'm getting through it and that's what last week it was really fucking hard and i said it <laughs> but nonetheless i made it through and so this week i want to share like my life outside mma and outside fitness happy monday just want to wish you guys a great day because i think that discipline doesn't just apply in the gym it has to apply in every other area of your life for it to be real And for it to be easy, I think many of us focus so much on the gym stuff at times and then forget about everything else. But I do focus on making sure that my life stays consistent in every area of my life. So for those that don't know a little bit about me or are new to this channel. So 10 years ago when I started the sport, I was like 18 and recently graduated from high school. And at the time, of course, I had no damn discipline. I was, I was just like lost, right? I was lost, immature, angry, alive, all of this shit. But when I started the sport, I, that's where I started developing and learning about building discipline because my coach would call me out. I knew that the people that I was training with would call me out, they would beat me up. And I, I hated getting beat up all the time. And I mean, I still do, but it's not as bad. <laughs> so all these things that came up in the very beginning, it was really, really hard, like really, really tough. But over the years, I had to learn how to be disciplined with my school. So at the time I was going to community college and I was going for a finance degree. And I remember having to go to school full time and having to go to the gym three, three, four times a week, do the the MMA classes, technique classes, and the sparring. So that shit was hard. It was really hard because I wanted to take some time to study, like right after class. I know I had to go to the gym, and then I wanted to skip the gym. But then my coach would call me out and be like, "Hey, where are you?" And I'm like, "Oh, I'm at home studying." And he's like, "Why aren't you here? And you said you wanted to fight. You said you wanted to compete. You said you wanted to do all these things." So yeah, the first few years were really, really hard for me, but that like that itself helped me build that discipline. I didn't want to go to class because I didn't want to go to school. I didn't want to go study. And then when I was at the gym, I didn't want to get beat up. So I didn't want to be anywhere, <laughs> but I had to manage my time and learn how to manage my time so that I can do both so I can graduate. And then when I did, I graduated uh, with my associates first in arts and focus in finance and after that transition to another school so I can finish my degree in marketing. So while I was in the transition of schools and transitioning schools, I believe I, that's when I fought for the first time and that was the real test for me to develop that discipline. When I was going through my first fight camp, that <laughs> shame was the hardest thing I've ever had to experience in my life because it challenged me mentally, physically, emotionally. I had a lot of trauma and I mean, still healing from those traumas, but not like crazy like before. And I used to take out all my feelings on my training partners and especially Taz, because he was, he's my main coach, he's my foundational coach. So he's always had to deal with my attitude from the day one, like very beginning. And I had to develop that discipline for me not to talk back, because I was a shit talker all the time. And I've always had, you know, some some cussing in my language. And so I will curse out at him, <laughs> of course, at myself. So I was angry at myself and I felt weak and all these insecurities used to come up while I was in the training camp. But 
He stayed very patient with me, along with my other coaches. Turn, 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 turn. Get that elbow through. Strikes, go. Up, 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 up. 30 seconds. She's not doing anything. That discipline had to be developed for me to one, shut up. <laughs> no, to grow as a person, to grow as an individual, so I can live my life that way too. I'm on my way to work now, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. I feel stronger. The universe has decided that this one, this one will have grit. And I went to school. Thankfully, I graduated and I, it was funny because when I graduated, it was around like COVID time. And at the time, I was taking remote classes. See, even that, I had to make sure that I was taking my classes, that I was not missing assignments, that I was taking my exams, and also train. So I was training during COVID time. Of course, nobody was there, but I've been blessed enough to be able to be part of my team. And when I used to go to the gym, there was nobody there, of course and i will still take some time to study and do my exams and finish my exams and i'll do all these things so i was still able to accomplish my bachelor's degree with the help of my team of course so i was very proud of myself for doing that and after that of course my life began with like with everything else because i also earned my black belt i also fought again and I was able to do all these things because of the discipline that I developed outside of the gym. I've now in my life, I've mentioned in the past, I work in the finance field. So now I have my career where I can say, you know what, all this hard work that I did is worth it. But if it wasn't because of the discipline that I had to develop and I actually practice outside of the gym, I wouldn't be here. I had to live that example. I couldn't just be like, oh, I'm such a great student in the gym and then comes out, out, out of the gym, I was like doing some shitty ass things. No, because then that's not real. Then who the fuck am I, right? <laughs> like, honestly, who am I outside of the gym? And so that itself, that journey to discovering myself was through discipline, was through consistent habits of me going to the gym and me studying and me being honest with the people that I love and do doing those hard conversations outside of the gym or taking some time to organize myself and plan ahead. Those things were very structured for me. And even now, the same structure that I developed during my college career, I also developed now outside of college and in my work. So that itself plays a big role in our lives. And I think... A lot of us lack structure, a lot of us lack the motivation, but you don't really need it because if you have a goal, you'll achieve any goal that you set yourself as long as you plan and you do the steps to get there. I have my career now that I have my work and all these things that I do on my own, I still have the discipline to go to the gym and also do my video editing, my video filming, and also work on my social media. So all these things play a role and they do become worth it at the end. So for those that want to know more about me, you can watch older videos of how I used to be and what I used to go through because that shit was nasty. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> the old videos of me actually really awesome because now you see my progression and the person that I've become. But yeah, I've, I've changed in a good way, transformative, good way evolved more better me okay so <laughs>